Where are you here today? Uh, well, I'm from South Africa and uh, I lived through apartheid and what I see happening in Palestine is the same that happened in South Africa and the people deserve their freedom and I'm here to stand with them. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm from South Africa and I also lived through apartheid. I saw everything that happened there. Uh, Israel is doing much worse than what, what they're doing in South Africa. Much, much worse than the, the UK used to boycott them. Why aren't they boycotting Israel? Thousands of kids being killed over the years and nothing's being done about it, not even on the news. BBC is absolutely quiet about it. Well, I've come up here on this demonstration outside the Israeli embassy to demonstrate against the atrocities that Israel is committing in Gaza and the war crimes are considered. This is absolutely horrific what is going on. And Israel should be punished for this. The world must open its eyes and its mouth to Israel. Israel has overstepped the mark once and for all this time, as far as I'm concerned. Hello, we are here today again to like, protest against this bombardment, against the prisons of defenseless civilians in Gaza. It has to stop. We are calling for the world, for the Prime Minister, for everyone, to put end this bloodshed immediately. Without any conditions, there's really a Zionist aggression has to stop. That's why we are here today. Thank you. Uh, we are here today coming because we are Jewish and the Zionists is not Jewish way and the, the, the Israeli state must to be stopped and give all the land to the Palestine and uh, we come again and again and again until I wish to stop all the protests because the Zionist state is, is stopped and give all the land to the Palestine. Thank you. Yes, I am here to protest against the Zionist massacre in Gaza and uh, massacres have uh, the opposite effect to what the perpetuators think. There was a, ga uh, a massacre in Amritsar in India. That aroused the whole Indian nation. There was a massacre in Sharpeville in South Africa. That aroused the whole South African nation. There was a massacre in Paris of Algerians in August 1960. That aroused the whole Algerian nation. And also 1945? Yes. <laughs> and there was, a, there was a massacre then in Ireland in Derry on Bloody Sunday. And that aroused the whole Irish uh, nation. And the, the, the massacre that's occurred in Gaza, it has aroused people in all nations around the world, including this one. And I believe that the Zionists have made a major mistake. They think that they can go into Gaza and uh, kill a number of uh, uh, Palestinians and that they will cow down and surrender. That has not been the case. Not alone have they aroused the Palestinians, they have aroused the people the peoples of nations all around the world. They have made the biggest mistake that they could possibly make. And I believe that the Palestinians will have made Hi, I'm John from War on Once, and we're here because we're here to express solidarity with the people of Gaza, particularly in this time when they're being bombarded by the Israeli government and subjected to such horrific massacres. We're here to say that we do not believe that the British government should continue its complicity by helping to arm Israel, by helping to give Israel trade preferences. We're calling on the people of Britain to rise up and to take action. If our government won't do it, then we have to do it. Israel! 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 Practical steps to show real solidarity 
with our friends and comrades in, in Gaza. I don't know if anyone saw The Economist this week. The Economist says Israel is winning the battle and losing the war. People are disinvesting from, from Israel. And I can say that on behalf... On behalf of Unite, last month we were confronted with a choice. Either we could support boycott, disinvestment and sanctions, or we could support a phony friendship with the Israeli and Palestinian trade union movement. I'm pleased to say that Unite came firmly down on boycott, disinvestment and sanctions. That is the trend of the Labour movement in Britain. We, we stand shoulder to shoulder with you and we will be out on all of these demonstrations as long as it takes until justice is secured for the Palestinians. Thanks very much. I'd to bring you greetings from TSSA. We're a, a transport union. It's not about destroying tunnels. It's not about rockets. It's about squeezing the Palestinian people and killing off the Palestinian people. And we've got to recognise that and we've got to fight against it. Now I think we're at a point where uh, we're at the point of changing the opinion of the British people and we must do that and Britain must play its role in ending the war in, in Palestine but more important than that, going on to build a free country in Palestine and my union will certainly be behind that. And just one last point I'd like to make, I've been lucky enough to be travelling in South America very recently and, and it was great to learn that most of the South American countries have taken action against the Israelis. But, uh, most of them have withdrawn their uh, ambassadors uh, and Bolivia, Bolivia has just declared Israel to be a terrorist state which, which we all know. It's amazing to see another absolutely huge demonstration where a movement that is building and building and building. But we know that after almost a month of Israel's onslaught, but not just a month of the onslaught now, but 2,604 days of the siege, that the, the world's attention is focused on Gaza now, but it is an absolute disgrace that for year after year after year, we've seen major countries, the US, the UK, the so-called leaders of the international community, totally ignoring the grinding, awful war of attrition being waged against the people of Gaza. We've seen promises after the 20, 2009 war, We've seen promises of the easing of the siege after the Mavi Marmara. We've seen promises after the 2012 war that the siege would come to an end. We've seen words, but have we seen actions? Nothing. Nothing at all. And we have to say now that this is the time. The criminal siege, and it's not that our leaders don't know what's going on. Before he was even elected Prime Minister, David Cameron referred to Gaza as a prison camp. They know what's going on, but now we must force them to act. And that's why we need the biggest movement possible. Not a movement that comes together for this month, or when Gaza is only in the headlines, but a movement that's relentless, that's here week in, week out, in London, but also in our towns and cities across the country. And we also want to know, I want to raise one other point that some people try and divide our movement. Those will try and put us back in some box trying to claim that this is a movement of racists. And I want to totally reject that. Because not only am I very proud to be Secretary of Palestine Solidarity Campaign, but I'm also proud to be a British Jew. And some people seek to exploit anti-Semitism. But we must also make sure that where any tiny, tiny minority seek to come and exploit our demonstrations, exploit our mass movement for sowing divisions, that they are totally rejected. Because this, this is not a struggle of one race and one religion. Um, it is not a struggle of that. It's a struggle of justice and right against wrong. And we have to be very, very united in that struggle. So thank you for your support today, thank you for building the movement right through the year and we will be here until Palestine is free. Thank you. Congratulations to everyone for turning out again today. This is another massive protest and the last few weeks 
have seen the biggest ever series of pro-Palestine protests. And don't believe we're not making a difference. We haven't done enough yet. But the fact that more MPs are starting to speak out against the Israeli atrocities is entirely, is entirely down to the fact that hundreds of thousands of people have marched across the country. The disgrace is that the Israelis unbelievably are escalating. And we're sending out a message today from this protest that when they escalate, we escalate! Again, next Saturday, August the 9th, which we want to make the biggest demonstration this country has ever seen in defense of the Palestinians. We've got, we have a few more speakers now to wrap up tonight's protest. And the first one I want to give you, I want you to give a big round, warm of applause, warm round of applause to Ruth, who's one of the founder members of a new Jewish anti-Zionist network. Give Ruth a big... We are a group of Jews and Israelis who abhor the attacks on Gaza. Zionism does not speak for us. We did an action at the Zionist Federation Conference on Sunday. And this is what we wrote to them. We, as British Jews, are here to express our solidarity with the Palestinian people. Over 1,000 Palestinians have been killed recently by the Israeli state, and thousands more displaced, injured, and arrested. Israel has killed civilians, destroyed homes, and impoverished the Palestinian population. We are here to say, not in our name. We reject the idea that the Israeli government had no choice but to decimate Gaza. Gaza is an open-air prison, a huge ghetto, caged in by Israel over land, sea and sky. Its population is largely that of trapped refugees. Israel has the choice to end its blockade of Gaza and to allow Palestinians the chance to live without domination. This is the only true road towards peace. Israel is the only country in the world that can spend US military aid on buying weapons from countries other than the US. Israel is the only country in the world that can use US civilian aid for military purposes. Now that, that is a very special relationship and it deserves to be finished and finished now is on the prize. There is one state that holds the keys to the Gaza prison and that is the state of Egypt. The state of Egypt can open the Rafa crossing now. It can let the Gazans out. The very same state that shoots down members of the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt. That shoots down January the 25th protesters in Egypt. That shoots down socialists in Egypt. That shoots down trade unionists in Egypt. No wonder they don't care about rolling up the gardens and allowing the Israelis to murder them. So next week, it's about Israel. It's about the United States, it's about the Egyptian government, and it's about our government. Because our government is supporting, army, diplomatically protecting, politically supporting the state of Israel. Eyes on the prize. One day and one week from today, the biggest demonstration ever for Palestine. Make it happen. Nation and freedom and recognition and justice for the people of Palestine. Thank you.